Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. My name is Kat Nichols and I'm a content creator here at Hypnotherapy Directory and Happy Hall. And today I'm going to be talking with hypnotherapist Emily Fennell and we're going to be talking about all things online hypnotherapy. So we're going to be talking about how it works, how to get the most out of your session and what to expect when you book an online hypnotherapy session. So Emily, thank you for joining us. To start with, could you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about how you got into hypnotherapy? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Kat. Um, yes, I, have, I trained in hypnotherapy about nine years ago in Birmingham, and that came out of actually having my own hypnotherapy treatment to stop smoking. So um, I was hooked. And um, I came from a background of drug and alcohol counselling, so just wanted to do something a little bit different. And then I've been in full time practice for the last seven years in Worcestershire. Oh, perfect. That's so interesting that you had your own experience. I think quite a few hypnotherapists seem to go through that process and then see yeah. them. Amazing. And so for anyone who doesn't know what hypnotherapy is, could you give us a brief breakdown of exactly what it is and how it can help? Yeah, I always think with this one that so many people are so hung up on the first bit of the word, the hypno bit. That's the sense, the part that often sends people sort of running for the hills and is so misunderstood. But mm. I prefer instead to focus on that second part. It is, it's a form of therapy and we're simply using hypnosis as our, a really effective tool within that process of therapy. So that, um, that feeling of hypnosis, which is perfectly achievable for everybody, very enjoyable. It's just a state of mind where you're able to let that chattering analytical conscious part of your mind just take a bit of a back seat to free you up with the therapist to work with the the part if we're honest that's actually causing lots of the problems in the first place which is that more automatic instinctive behavioral part of us that we call the subconscious mind so it's a very enjoyable process um it's therapy using hypnosis so it's so interesting and i think the whole the way it chat talks to the subconscious is really interesting so as you say yeah. that is what's going on behind the scenes that we're not aware of and that can be quite hard to change by ourselves yeah and I think I'm both professionally and personally and because of my um, work background as well I'm a massive fan of counseling and talking therapies has a huge part to play but sometimes it just gets to the state where you can I say to some of my clients, we can sit here and talk about this till we're both blue in the face, but it's not changing that other part of you. You desperately want to be going in that direction. So why is that other part of you pulling in that direction? Mm. And that's where working with a hypnotherapist comes in. Mm, so interesting. So obviously during the pandemic, a lot of hypnotherapy sessions had to move online. So can you tell us a little bit about how that would work? Yeah. First up, sort of massive disclosure, I'm going to say that I've really had to eat my hat with this one because I never did any online work with people beforehand. Um, I feel really bad now, but I had a number of people sort of traveling a couple of hours to see me and they would ask, sort of, oh, can, can we try this online? And I was just really unsure about it, I think because I like that human connection but um yeah as I said I've had to absolutely eat my hat because it it does work and it can be really effective so um in terms of how that would work not a huge amount of difference from seeing a hypnotherapist in person you'd make your appointment and then I as well as sending people sort of confirmation of that appointment maybe via email would send a prep sheet and information on how best to prepare for mm -hmm. that session um setting up a, a skype account or zoom account or whatever you want to use and how they can best prepare for that perfect and that is something that came up so we actually did a poll on our social media to find out what concerns people might have Ooh. about online hypnotherapy and the top concern was whether or not it would work so whether or not it yeah. is as effective as face-to-face -face. so in your experience would you say it is as effective as in person yeah, I thought about this and that word effective. Yeah, my answer is absolutely as effective. If the right things are put in place, then absolutely hands down as effective. The, the slight sort of question mark, or I guess only slight sort of question mark for me is around enjoyment, whether it can be as enjoyable and as comfortable. And then I guess it depends on the individual. I think in many ways you can actually make it more, more comfortable, more enjoyable. Some people who I started seeing um, via Skype in the first lockdown, even when they could come back in person, they said, actually, no, I really like this. I'm up in my spare room. It's comfortable. I don't have to travel for an hour. Um, it's great. Um, 
so yeah it can be more enjoyable for others i think there's something really special about coming meeting somebody in in person and getting out of let's face it we're all in our homes so much at the moment so i think psychologically it can be a bit of work sometimes for people to get as comfortable at home mm. to to kind of get out of home to get out of that head space of being maybe a parent or working mm. so again there's lots of things that can be done about that i really advise a lot of preparation not only thinking about the technical aspects like charging your laptop and distractions switching off your notifications things like that but also yeah the psychological aspect of it and making it some, making it something special and time for you um, and that's going to vary from person to person but you need to be able to be in a headspace to it's your time and it's it's your time so I don't know if that makes sense <laughs> oh, absolutely and I think that's it's really important to highlight that that it is a person yeah. difference and especially now that options to, for in-person sessions are coming back it's yeah. it's nice for people to have that option and I know for me it's it's something that I'm looking into because I am looking for support with driving anxiety and mm. in the past a lot of things I've been looking for I've had to have driven to. absolutely you'd have to drive to so it's been yeah. amazing for me to be able to start searching for hypnotherapists that I can do over over the internet. So I think yeah. it provides a huge amount of benefits, but it's, and people can try both now. They can see what they feel more comfortable yeah. with, what they get more on the headspace with. So yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah. But I think to answer that question, effective wise, technically, mm. logically, yes, absolutely is effective. And yeah, there might be sort of individual preferences, but there's a lot that can be done to, um, to get over that i think initially as well i love the human connection i love sort of meeting people but even um we've all got used to forming that bond meeting people virtually as well so it yeah as i said i've really had to eat my hat with it so um, yeah. brilliant and something so you mentioned that you give clients a prep sheet to kind of tell them there so another concern that came up for people was the tech side of it so yeah. having to you know create their own platforms on different um, services and what happens if connection goes out and things like that mm. so what would your advice be to anyone worried about that side of things yeah I, well i think firstly i'd say i get it like i'm not a technical whiz at all um <laughs> and that i'm happy to help and support people with that it's really not too difficult my um i tend to use skype um, so my handout that I will email to somebody has step-by-step -step breakdown of how to, you need an email account, how to get an account, um, all of that aspect, and then everything else, like making sure that your, your battery is fully charged, what, considering what device you might want to use it. Um, I'm always happy to help. I'm always happy to have a trial chat session with somebody, maybe just for five minutes mm -hmm. to sort of, just to see how that feels. Cause it does, if it's the first time that you sat in front of a screen talking to a, a disembodied face, it does feel completely bizarre and I get it. So I'm happy to, I think lots of therapists would be very happy to help you with that. And also you can always ask family members as well for that little bit of tech support. And I would say you don't necessarily need to tell them what it's for. Mm, absolutely especially if it is like yeah. high practice going on zoom and checking it works and things like yeah, that yeah why not yeah i love that perfect and you mentioned about how important it is to feel comfortable in your space so i'd love to hear your tips for clients to really make the most out of an online session yeah comfort wise okay so again preparation i think is key and just trying it out having your own little sort of just sit down in in silence and peace and quiet maybe a day or so before so that you're not stressed on that first first appointment um just seeing how it feels in that moment if you are going to be distracted by it's not the moment to suddenly realize that you've got an irritating noisy clock or something mm -hmm. so just taking that into consideration um one thing for our sessions is sometimes people like to have a blanket to hand because when your body is beautifully relaxed then you can actually mm -hmm. um your body temperature can cool a little bit but again, it's, you've got these things around you. There's nothing that you'll need that we can't actually just pause and go and get it. And when I have an initial session with anybody over Skype for the first time, I always say, look, we'll, we'll spend an extra sort of five, 10 minutes just getting to grips with the technological aspect of things. Um, and one thing you mentioned there about a tech concern of people sort of, what if there are, did you say like, what if the connection goes? Mm -hmm. or? 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's definitely a really valid concern. And thankfully, touch wood, even though I'm in the, we've got some lovely hills near me, um, the, the signal's been actually okay and had very few issues. Um, and I really like to reassure people that you can't get, you can't get stuck in hypnosis. It's just not going to happen. I completely get that that would be a concern, but I think that's a really important one to reassure people on. Mm. Um, the therapist is helping guide you into that beautiful state, but they are not the, they are not the holder or the final word on when you come out of that state it's very similar actually to when we go into autopilot driving a familiar journey mm. and we just sort of go into the zone and we're just sort of doing everything we can get a couple of sort of junctions up the m5 before we realize sort of what we've done but if if something unexpected happens like there are some sudden unexpected roadworks we come back we we're fully aware of that. So it's exactly the same here. If you, even if you are beautifully relaxed and in that state of hypnosis, if something else needs your attention or I often say to people, if you don't hear my voice for more than a few minutes or you've got any other concerns to think that the signal's gone, mm -hmm. then you'll simply open your eyes and turn your attention to resolving it. Yeah, and that is really important to reassure people. I know we've heard from some people that their concerns are about the lack of control and whether or not they'll be in control but you are mm. always fully in control of what, what's happening. absolutely yeah perfect and that's the same whether that's online or um or in person as well yeah exactly and you can just come back whenever you need to and open your eyes mm. perfect thank you so much emily so before we wrap up could you please let our viewers know um where they can find you yeah, you can find me. I've got a, a page, a profile on hypnotherapy directory, obviously. So you can find me there searching for my name, Emily Fennell. I've also got a website, which is www.curativehypno.co.uk. Or again, you can Google my name and hopefully I'll appear. And from there, you can find links to, I've got a YouTube channel with a couple of outdated videos and um, a Facebook page as well. So hopefully people can, can find me and follow from there. Perfect. Thank you so much. And yes, if anyone watching is inspired to connect with a hypnotherapist, we will, of course, pop all of Emily's links down below. And also we'll pop a link to hypnotherapy directory, which is where you can search for other online hypnotherapists and just learn more about hypnotherapy in general and how it can support you. So, yeah, thank you so much, Emily. Thanks, Kat.